Hello, and welcome to the Magical Traveling Moms podcast. My name is Colleen, and I am joined today by my amazing co-host, Tina. And today's episode, we are talking all about our holiday travel wish lists. But before we get started, we want to take a moment to mention the fabulous sponsors of our show, Mystical Dream Travel. Mystical Dream Travel is a full-service travel agency specializing in all things Disney, Universal, cruises, all-inclusive resorts, and so much more. So when you are ready to plan your next vacation, like maybe your holiday vacation for 2024, be sure to reach out to the fantastic agents over at Mystical Dream Travel. You can find them online at mysticaldreamtravel.com or look them up on social media. Welcome to the Magical Traveling Moms podcast, where your hosts, Tina and Colleen, talk about all things travel. From theme parks to cruises to all-inclusive resorts and more, they cover news, tricks, and insider tips to inspire your travel dreams. They love to travel and want you to love it too. Find out their best-kept secrets and learn how to make your next vacation extra magical right here on the Magical Traveling Moms podcast. So, hello, Tina. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm excited to talk about this topic. Holidays are in full swing, and it's my favorite time of year. Oh, my gosh. I know, right? Do you feel ready? Are are you anywhere at all prepared for the holidays? Kind of. So, (laughs) I started my holiday shopping, kind of, you know, got in my brain the other stuff that I need to do and meals and all that fun stuff. So I have to yeah. just get it all into most Sneaks up on you fast. So, and when this yeah. podcast airs, it's going to be pretty much right. It's Christmas, like three days yeah. later. So. <laughs> I know. I know. It's just, it's a crazy. And I feel like it's like, it was just, the beginning of the year and now all of a sudden it's Christmas I'm like it just went it so happens it just flies right by guys it so, does I know it's not so gonna- I know we have talked in the past about holiday vacations mm-hmm. and I know we've talked a lot about like if you've ever been anywhere for the holidays and whatnot and I know you mostly just stay home and do the family thing which is awesome yes we do um, <laughs> But yeah, we're boring we're in that way, but we, yeah, we're like, gonna talk about like our wish lists, our bucket lists. Like if we if we were gonna travel for the holidays, where where would we go? So I'm excited because there's so many great places to think about for holiday travel. There is, and it really with some really cool things that give you the holiday feel. Like yes. kind of like put you in the mood and yeah. kind of kicks off that magical holiday feeling. Yeah. I, I feel like holiday travel can go one of two ways, right? Like, so you can yes. do that, like go somewhere where you're going to feel the holiday spirit and all of that, or go somewhere like exotic or, you know, tropical or warm, you know, to have like that escape. Yes, you can. I love, and I feel like more and more people are doing this now. Instead of buying a lot of gifts for their family, for their kids, they do a trip instead. And I think that's amazing. I am all about that. I do too, because I think, you know, I think back to when my daughter was little and, and, and I'm sure you've done the same thing where you just piles of toys and half the time they don't even go get open. They stay in the boxes that they make it so much right? later. You're like, and they're not even interested in it anymore, but a trip, but a trip, they talk about forever. I and mean, my daughter still talks about the trips that she took when she was little, you know, we've done a lot of trips for her birthdays and we started that years ago. So it's, you know, I just think it's, I, I I think as I think as I get older, <laughs> I <wanna> get older <laughs> my mindset has changed a lot from having a lot of gifts to really having like special moments and creating these memories and these trips and these experiences. Huh. Um, you know, and I think those to- are so important for family. Um yes. and that togetherness and the memories and those bonds that you form, you know, having yeah, those absolutely. are 
priceless and last forever. So yeah, yep, they never absolutely. go out of style. <laughs> no, they don't. And they'll remember them forever. So you just uh, have to find a vacation uh, destination that everybody is excited about. <laughs> Yes. And, and we just so happen to know quite a few that could get your family very excited about. I know. So I thought we'd start out I'm about talking about where's the favorite place you've ever spent the holidays, which I know you've mostly yeah. just done the family thing, but is there somewhere, even if it's someone's house, like, you know, your grandparents or whatever, like where was your favorite place to go for Christmas? Yeah, so we have done holiday travel, not necessarily over Christmas or Thanksgiving, but during the holiday months, we have done the holidays at Walt Disney World, which we absolutely loved. So I would say that like destination wise, for me, for families, that would be my favorite recommendation and personal recommendation for me personally to go would be to Walt Disney World because it's it's just really magical and there's so much to do and see beyond the parks so I'm sure we're going to talk about that in a little bit but <laughs> it might uh, be on my list <laughs> it may be on your list so yes so I definitely there and I've been to Disneyland during the holidays too and I will talk about that because that is on my list um, that is I have not done that amazing amazing oh, uh, but I'm my afraid. favorite place since we don't typically travel during the actual holidays I would probably say would be in recent years Christmas Eve going to my in-laws so they have a tradition where all of their family comes to my father-in-law's house but now it has shifted to my sister-in-law's and we just have so much fun we have usually have a theme so we either have pajamas ugly sweater you know stuff like that and we have lots of food and everyone you know brings stuff and we also play lots of games usually I'm in charge of the games Ooh. Uh, they're always fun but I got booted out this year so uh my niece and uh, nephew are taking the games over taking so. over games oh my god yeah I'm a little salty <laughs> about it <laughs> so, oh no maybe you want to maybe you want to prepare some backup games you know I might need to you know because Just in case just they are young. They're in their 20s. So I don't know. It, it, for all I know, it could be drinking games with them. Oh, I know. I'm like, just in case some of their games are like not appropriate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So oh, that is actually one of my favorite places to go because we really do have a, a great time. So yeah. Yeah. I would say growing up, my favorite place to go for the actual holiday was my grandparents' mm -hmm. house in Vermont. And I don't know why, like being there for Christmas felt more magical than being at home for Christmas. I know. Because you're not <laughs> at home. You're in a different environment. You're not at home. Like, you know, and there's, I don't know, you know, your grandparents' house is always like this magical place that you yeah. go. So, so I always enjoyed going to their house and they lived in Vermont and it was very picturesque and there was mm -hmm. usually snow and they had a fireplace and so it just, everything was perfect for that Christmas. But I'm with you. I actually, my favorite trip we ever went on for, and it wasn't over the actual holiday, but earlier in the month was Walt Disney World. And we went yeah. with my sister and her family and we did all of the holiday things. And we went to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and did mm -hmm. the festival of the holidays at Epcot. We did the gingerbread yes. house. I mean, we really did like all of the hall. We even went and played mini golf at winter summerland yes. mini golf course, which is like Christmas themed. <laughs> um, so yeah, like we did it all and it was very magical. I would agree with you. That's Walt well, Disney world just has that special extra magic. So I honestly, I was like, not sure what order to put these in, but I decided we're just going to start with a bang and it's, okay. what, it's money or no object. Okay. If money were no object, where would you take your family for a holiday vacation? If you're not ready, I will go first. No, I, I have it. I have you it. have it? Okay. I wrote it down. I have two places. Two places. Okay. Milan. Ooh. I would go to Milan. It's on my list, Milan. And Ireland. Or Ireland. Ooh. Oh, that would be fun, too. See, it was very hard for me. To, I really thought about this one for a long time. It's hard. But I remember, so I love Rick Steves 
And <laughs> I've been watching Rick Steves Europe for like years and years and years and years on PBS. <laughs> it's like okay. my favorite show. Mm -hmm. And a long time ago, I watched this episode of Rick Steves where he spends like old fashioned family Christmas in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And he goes and stays with this local family and they have fondue and they go for a, like a sleigh ride and they go cut the Christmas tree down and it's super magical. And the more I kind of looked into Switzerland, I was like, oh no, I have to. So like they have the Christmas markets, the European Christmas markets. That would be amazing. Yes. The, the castles and there's so much to do. And it's like that like really classic old fashioned traditional like Christmas thing over there. So I think that's what, I think that's what I would do. It would be amazing. I know, I know right? <laughs> like it would all be amazing. Yes. Yes. All absolutely. right. So now I have it broken down more by like categories of okay. who's going on this vacation with you. So okay. we're going to start with couples. Mm -hmm. So where do you think would be the perfect vacation destination if you were just going couples like a honeymoon or a romantic or just you okay. and your loved one gonna have a little cozy Christmas <laughs> okay cozy Christmas so I think we have one item on here that is the same only one I only one um oh. is Ama waterways <gasps> I know I think we have to put Ama on there I know they are I mean the Alma Waterways cruises that go to the Christmas markets. To I mean, oh, I mean, this is like high on my bucket list. Oh yes, absolutely. Go on the Alma Waterways, a thousand percent. So I chose that because I think it would. It's very romantic. It's more adult oriented. Um, lots of beautiful scenery as you float down the river and oh. just yeah. It all sounds so magical. Like you just are going from one like charming town to another yes. in all these European countries and going to these Christmas markets yes. that look just amazing. And you can do the wine cruises and the wine tasting and the, yes, yes. I know, I know. That would, so if you want like that classical Christmassy, like holiday feel. Definitely. That would be it. Yeah, absolutely. So my next one for adults, and this is on my list personally, and I don't think we've ever talked about it ever. Really? How is this possible? I know. I know. Is Fiji. Really? Yes. Ooh. Yes. It's very secluded. It is. Yeah. Yes. You're uh, in the middle of nowhere. I know. And it just... If you want a place to get away from it all and truly right. disconnect from mm -hmm. the world, Fiji, it's on my list. I can't wait for you to go to Fiji and tell me all about that. Yes, <laughs> private, like, yes, absolutely. Oh, well, and they, I think the Fiji's has like the over the water, like bungalows. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, all the romance. I had something similar, not. Fiji, but I, I did mention on my list sandals, South coast in Jamaica, and it's an adult only all inclusive. And they have the over the water bungalows that are just like stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. And I would add to that at the same resort, the Rondevals. The Rondevals are really nice too. Yeah. Now they're not as intimate because it's like a little village of them is what I like to describe right. them whereas the over the water bungalows is a little bit more secluded more right well you can't even go out on the dock unless you're staying there I yeah, think absolutely. And then if you're out on the front where your little like plunge pool is and stuff I mean you're just looking at the ocean right so you could really feel like you're alone you know like yes. no one else is around you're right. you're on a deserted island in the ocean yeah yeah <laughs> Um, right. So I also, I had to also put in that Secrets Impressions Isla Mujeres because I'm currently very obsessed with this resort okay. and it's Mexico off the coast of Cancun. And it just 
something about it just oozes like luxury romantic vacation to me and I just like I need to be here like I I I will make it happen I'm I'm determined in 2024 to go to this resort (laughs) your anniversary there you go no I thought about that I wish my anniversary wasn't in October which is hurricane Um, season yes (laughs) like maybe we have to celebrate our anniversary early in the summer sometime or in the spring right right exactly well I'm gonna Um, have one more item oh you have another one okay one more a virgin voyage cruise oh that's a good one yeah because it is adult only yep so very romantic yeah and very posh like European very luxury and you can stay in the rock star suite definitely should really elevate your experience oh yeah absolutely that would be a great option I feel like for like younger people you know yes yes like that was very very yeah very trendy people who like to go to nightclubs and trendy places and yeah you want if you want a more upbeat lively vacation although I will say if you if you're not because I'm not really like a nightclub person Mm-hmm. And I loved our Virgin Voyages cruise. So, uh, you know, like there's other things too, but if you are into that, it's fun time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's definitely for you, so. Okay, so now we're going to talk about where do you think would be the perfect uh, vacation destination for families? So okay. like you and your immediate family, like your kids, just you and your kids. Yep, so last year I got to go to Disneyland during the holiday season last December and I fell in love with Disneyland during the holidays it is so incredibly beautiful the decorations I mean I love world don't get me wrong but I just felt like the decor the Chris holiday decorations at Disneyland were next level really absolutely I'm like I need to check this out I think because I feel like world is like Crazy. world is good with the, uh, and all yeah, I love that you're like world is okay it's yeah good. and it's good I mean it's good at the all the resorts and everything in there right but Disneyland in the parks mm. truly next level decorate mm. very some of it very old school yeah it just I a lot of history there like I imagine uh, absolutely got- and I just it. loved it so much and my favorite recommendation to get the gingerbread Mickey Mouse cookie. Oh, I it mean, was sign me up. Yes, they do not have it at World. I was gonna say, are it's not the same as the gingerbread cookie at no. the Grand Floridian? It is not. It's not because I is. love that cookie. I I like yeah. and that's on my list. And I may have totally asked Courtney to buy me four and ship them to me. Month. <laughs> <this month. laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gina, when you even shared this, I'm like, poor Courtney. She's going to start getting phone calls from everybody like, hey. Yeah, can you send me? So they are so good. I mean, they're so cute. You don't want to eat them. But I'm telling you, like, I like dream about these. And I'm not a big gingerbread cookie person. Huh. And they are so good. I'm telling you, you need to, sorry, Courtney. I- you need to call Courtney Tower. I feel I really do because I love like going. So on my list is Walt Disney World yeah. because that's for sure. I think a mm-hmm. wonderful place to take your family for the holidays. And one of my most definite have to do things is going to the Grand Floridian, going to the life size gingerbread house, and buying a gingerbread cookie because they're so good. But yeah. now I feel like I have to have a Disney land gingerbread cookie i'm telling you call courtney sorry courtney hey gonna, colleen's gonna call you poor courtney poor right. courtney's gonna be like darn it i have to go back to disneyland yeah i'm gonna hook you up i'm, I'm telling you they are so good i mean and oh plus they're so cute i mean they would actually make really cute christmas gifts <laughs> i mean just the idea but just throwing it out there like if may, wants to yeah. get me something <laughs> i may or may not have asked for four of them <laughs> oh my gosh i love that well i'm i'm gonna have to get on that because i love i like gingerbread cookies a lot and the ones at the grand floridian are one of my favorites so yeah you will love um, these 
You will love these. So also at Disneyland, real quick, you yeah. can watch them make candy canes. So they have the really big candy canes. Oh, I've um, heard about that. And they yeah. only have them um, a couple of times a week during the holidays. And you do have it to get- You were there. I've heard the line can be really long. Yeah, so you have to get there early if you want to secure one of the really big candy canes. I'm not a big candy cane person. Yeah. I would just like to go and just watch them make it. I don't necessarily you know that. Watch them make it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that I would necessarily purchase one just because I'm not like a big. I would wonder if it's different than, you know, like you just go to the store and buy candy canes, whatever, like mass produced, you know, candy canes. Like I would be curious if a handmade candy cane would taste because I love peppermint and I like it too. I wonder if it would be better. I mean, I'm assuming it would be. I feel like even just the, the fact that you bought it at Disneyland would make it better. Yeah, yeah. Now I think I want to buy one. No, no, I think you've convinced me to buy one. I feel like we need to for market research, you know, Um, like we have to know these things, but you know, like when you, when you get something that's like handmade like that, it's usually way better than anything you're going to buy in the store. Yeah. And fresh. So yeah. All right. We'll have to Um, go out there and test that out maybe next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Walt Disney World also, I, you know, I love that for the holidays because the decorations are amazing. It has the magical feeling. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party is just so much fun mm-hmm. and all the, all the things to do. But also I have Universal on my list because Universal Orlando also does a lot. They have Grinchmas and I don't know about you, but growing up the Grinch who stole Christmas, like the original Grinch who stole Christmas. Yeah. Not, the cartoon version. Not but- these remake ones. That- <laughs> yeah, the original. The original. That was like the tradition in my family, like to watch that on Christmas. Yes. Um, and so they have Grinchmas, which is amazing. And then the wizarding world of Harry Potter, which already has like a magical holiday feel anyway. Um, they even go way above that. And they've got the parade with the Macy's, po- the balloons from yes. the Macy's Day Parade. And, and they have a holiday tour. The holiday tour. I mean, there's a lot of fun things and Mannheim steamroller plays there usually every year select dates and that's free it's included like it's just in the park like you Mm -hmm. gotta show up like an hour before the show starts to get a seat but yeah (laughs) yeah but it doesn't cost extra to go and see the man i'm steamroller like i mean that would be really crazy so i think that would also be a great holiday destination i agree it's something i think it's something different and i think people often don't think of universal for holiday theme but there really is so much to do there for the holiday oh yeah absolutely and the decorations there are beautiful yeah i mean they really do the same kind of stuff so it's like different and i love that it's like different stuff than what walt disney world has so you really even you could do both you could you could (laughs) you you could do both you're down yeah. there. You might as well. You might as well do both, right? So um, my recommendation would be do the Disney and then do the holiday tour. <laughs> you do the holiday tour, right? The holiday tour sounds really, really good. Like I yeah. was like, wow, that is a great value. So Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. And it's not super expensive either. It's actually no. for what you're getting. It's a lot more. You no, get- no, absolutely not. Hurts, you got yeah, you get you get to the Grinch and Max, and you get VIP access to stuff and treats. Oh. They even give you treats on it. Yeah, you get to see Grinchmas too. You get priority yeah, Grinchmas holiday yeah, spectacular. Think- no, it it would be that would be worth it, worth yeah, the splurge. Absolutely. I think on that. But I also have on my list a Disney cruise, a very merry time Disney cruise because. I will tell you, I get a lot of people that will want to go on a cruise. I think a cruise is a great holiday time mm-hmm. vacation anyway, because it's a uh, fixed capacity, right? Yeah. So a cruise can only be so many people, right? Where like, if you go to Walt Disney World, especially the week between Christmas and New Year's, the capacity is a little crazy. It can um, be very yeah. busy. Yeah, it's, it's very busy. So it's very crowded, but a cruise, you know, will never get any more crowded than a certain amount, you know? So, and they are, I, I mean, other cruise lines do some have decorations and maybe like a few little things, but nobody does a holiday themed cruise like Disney. Like it's totally not Santa and Mrs. Claus are on the ship with you. Like there's, 
cookies and pajama parties and like all kind. I mean, I just, oh, there's yeah. nothing like a Disney theme, like a, a very merry time Disney cruise. I 100% agree. And if I had to pick just one Christmas mm-hmm vacation for my family it would be a disney cruise over any of them i mean i love world i love land i love disneyland i love the universal but i truly for the very reason what you said it's limited capacity um so you don't have the crowds at the parks yeah and it really is next level disney christmas celebration i think yeah no i we have not gotten to do a very merry time but it's on my list of like must must make happen yes. <laughs> and plus if you go to the private island it is all decorated for christmas i know how cool would that be i know You're on, like a tropical island but it's all holiday themed i know i know and lisa over at mystical dream travel just went I know we need to, we need to talk to her about, oh, we do need to talk to her about it. Is she on a very merry time? I guess she would have been. Yes, she was. She was. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I want to see some pictures, Lisa, Mm -hmm. let's talk about it. Okay. So I also wanted to talk about a perfect destination for a vacation, a holiday vacation. If you're going to go with your extended family. So not just you and your kids and your husband, Mm -hmm. like, you know, you want, like it's mom, it's grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles and like a big group because going on a big group vacation is, it can be a lot. <laughs> it can be very complicated. There's a lot going, you know, a lot of people's opinions and things and whatnot. So it, I don't know as though I would choose to go to like Walt Disney World with like that many people for the holidays because be that tough. would be a lot. So I don't know if you have someplace different than me or you. If, you do okay well then you go first all right so my pick for kind of like a larger family vacation with extended family would actually be a cruise yes that's the same that that would be a good yeah so if you have little ones i would probably recommend a disney cruise you know the maritime disney cruise but if you have teenagers or it's an older family, you know, like you're there in their 20s or whatever, I would actually recommend Royal Caribbean Cruise Line or Norwegian. Just because this, more yeah, the ships are bigger. Perfect. Yeah. And you have a little bit more gear towards like, you know, older yeah, I would say yeah. like 16. a lot of appealing stuff. Yeah. Cause like Disney doesn't have casinos. Right. But like, so if you've got people in your family that would like to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's what I would but, you know, a cruise is a great option too. Yeah. Because you can, it appeals to so many age ranges and there's something for everyone and it's a nice all-inclusive sort of price, you know, cause you know, the food is included and the activities and stuff. Yes, but, absolutely. I, I mean, mine is for similar reasons, but I have beaches, Turks and Caicos on my, that's a good one. I'm like shooting for the moon here, but like, (laughs) could you imagine? That's a good one. It is perfect. Oh, because, and same thing with like a cruise, like there's kids clubs. So there's supervised included kids clubs activities. So you can maybe do things where just the adults have a spa day or, or whatnot. And the kids are, you know, have things, there's something for everyone there's, you know, all different kinds of food, all different kinds of activities, stuff for the older kids, stuff for the younger kids. And you're in a beautiful, I mean, oh, Turks and Caicos, beautiful, beautiful destination. Yeah, absolutely. I don't disagree with that. I think Turks, that would be like the perfect multi-gen. And vacation. they have accommodations that, I mean, I, I think they have like three, three bedrooms. I know for sure, at least, but I don't know if they might even have some that are bigger than that, I but there there's, were. Three, there's, I, well, I was like, I can't remember, but I, I know, know they have too. like basically a huge, I mean, it's like a big house, you know, with the three bedrooms and a kitchen and a living room and yeah. And those go fast, surprisingly. Mm-hmm. They book up everything their- at Beaches, Turks, and Caicos goes fast. So it's like if you want to go there, especially for the holidays, I'd be like booking like two years out or three yes, years out. Absolutely. Especially yeah. if you want a certain room category. Yes, 100%. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But it's amazing. Like, would be amazing. 
Well, do you have any other uh, destinations on your list? I think I've gotten to the end of mine. Yep. So I have one if you're looking for a weekend getaway. Oh, I love that idea. Like the weekend getaway for the holidays and you just kind of want to get that holiday feel. My suggestion is actually New York City. Ooh, yes. And doing all the holiday things. So ice skating in Rockefeller Center or Central Park or Central Park. They have um, ice skating in Central Park. They have ice skating in Central Park. And oh, actually, by the time this podcast airs, I would have done it. So, <laughs> and they actually have a nice, it's a nice alternative to Rockefeller Center because Rockefeller Center books up very quickly. Yeah. And great. so what's nice about it too, is you can do a VIP package, which I may or may not have done, be doing. <laughs> <laughs> And you get hot chocolate, it includes your rental skates, you get a, a warming tent and yeah. Ooh, that will be nice. The warming tent would be. Yeah. Neat. So, so although it's going to be 51 when I'm there, <laughs> but anyway, so you can do that in carriage rides in. Yes. Park. I was going to say carriage rides through the park are so nice. Yes. And the Rockettes, of course. You, <gasps> you have-, have to go see the Rockettes. Yes. And then you have to get your picture in front of the tree at yes. Rockefeller Center, go visit Macy's and, and something I recently discovered, but I cannot get a reservation. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Have you ever heard of Blue Box Cafe? No. Oh my gosh. So I know. I'm like, what? What is it? Tell me. You can actually have breakfast at tiffany's the blue box what cafe. yes there's actual breakfast at tiffany's yes there is actual breakfast at tiffany's so you have to go look it up. yeah okay i will it sounds like it might be a lot like a harder to get sort of thing though it's small and intimate it's very difficult i'm on a wait list <laughs> I'm really hope the fingers are crossed for you tina <laughs> yeah it looks beautiful and amazing uh, you can do like brunch and tea time there and have dinner as well but we kind of we want the breakfast at tiffany's as well i know like i mean of course like you have to do the breakfast at tiffany's yes yes and it's french inspired oh my gosh of course it is yeah so you you look it up when you're done so when we're done i'm gonna like that sounds amazing well now Mm -hmm. i've got to add that to my list of things to do in new york city the next time i go so so i really think for a getaway uh weekend getaway i think new york is perfect because there's so much to do it's so decked out for the holidays in fact i don't even have enough time in my trip to do everything (laughs) so there is a lot Yeah. yeah And there's a lot of restaurants that really decorate for the holidays mm-hmm. in New York City. Like it's, it is a very festive, like I was just there at the were, beginning yes. of November, like literally right after Halloween mm-hmm. and everything was already full Christmas. Like nice. it was insane. Like every store, every restaurant, like it was just everywhere you looked, it was full on Christmas. <laughs> it's like, oh, wow. nice. like they just come right out and do it. <laughs> I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've been to New York. So I'm really excited. Uh, I've never been for the holidays. So and we have some cool places that we're eating. Uh, we're actually eating it called Frankie and Johnny's. It's a mob themed restaurant. What? <laughs> My son Noah would totally be all over that. Yeah. So we're super excited for that. And then we're eating it. I think it's Gail rose so it's like a singing restaurant a broadway i think it's what's called yeah rose broadway so we're doing that one night so we didn't make a lot of dining just two restaurants and then we're gonna wing and keeping our fingers crossed for breakfast at tiffany's is all i have to say i am gonna be so excited if you get it because i want to hear all about it i think that's what we need to talk about in january i'm just saying (laughs) so i read a tip so here's me thinking you know we make disney dining so i'm like i'll look at six in the morning you know because they open up 30 days in advance so in the usually day by day and similar to what we have to do for disneyland so so i'm like oh six in the morning same they were all gone. They actually start booking them at midnight. Oh, no. But I have learned that they hold six tables back every day. Every day they hold six tables back. And then you can go stand in line to get in. 
the hope that you get them. I don't know that I want to stand in line because it's taking away like my time, but I have thought about it, but I don't think we're going to mm. do that. Mm. I know. We'll have to, you'll have to see how you feel that day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know. I know. We'll have to kind of like feel, feel it out, but that it's on my list. So I want you to look up and then you got to text me and tell me what you think. I mean, it looks amazing. Okay. I'm so yeah. excited to hear all about it. I mean, I hope to hear all about it is yeah. that you're going to, I'm going to manifest it for you, Tina. Thank you. So if, a good tip that to know that it opens at midnight, if we want to try to plan it. So yeah, absolutely. So tell me, so if you had to pick a weekend getaway, mm -hmm what would be your choice or any other destination that you can think of that we didn't talk about? So the other destinations that, and I toyed around with putting these on my list would be to go to like Aspen. Oh yeah. And I grew up in the Northeast, you know, in mm -hmm. Vermont and New Hampshire, and I grew up skiing. So I spent a lot of time at ski resorts growing up. And so to me, that also has that like Christmassy vibe mm -hmm. because the snow and, and you go skiing and then you come into the lodge and there's the fire and <laughs> you have hot mm -hmm. cocoa. So I would definitely say like Aspen or any of the, the big ski areas, I would go there for sure. I think those would be really fun. And that would be a good, you know, just like over a weekend or short little escape um, no, for just I a couple agree. of days. To, yeah, I like that Aspen. Again. Lake Tahoe. That was the other place I was thinking because I've been to Lake Tahoe and that's also gorgeous and the ski resorts there are amazing. And yeah. You know, what is oddly on my list and I don't ski, but Park City, Utah. Oh. I don't know why. I'm just obsessed with that location. So another I destination I looked at when I was looking at Switzerland is Banff, uh, Canada. Yes. And it's very similar, like, but maybe a little more accessible, you know, like a little easier to get to, maybe not quite as expensive, you know, because it would be easier to get up to Canada than over to Switzerland, but it has a lot of the same sort of vibe with the castles and the grand hotels and yeah, and the ski areas. But yeah, that's a, a destination that I've always thought I'd like to visit is Banff. Banff. That would be good. Yes, it would be. Yeah. Yeah. But Yeah. Well, these are all some amazing places to plan a holiday vacation. So I hope that we have inspired you to think about maybe 2024 holiday plans for you and your family. And if you're interested in learning more about any of the amazing uh, destinations that we've just talked about, definitely be sure to reach out to the agents over at Mystical Dream Travel because they can help you make these lovely holiday vacation dreams come true for you in 2024 or maybe beyond that. Um, but uh, we hope that you have a wonderful holiday season with your family and your friends. And we look forward to talking with all of you again in the new year. So until next time, we hope all of your travels are magical.